For most of the history of the United States, records were recorded on paper. And one of its wonderful qualities is that you can create a record on paper and then file it away and forget about it. The paper will still exist, the ink will still be legible, the language they were written in is probably readable by people 100, 140 years later. But the era of the paper record is almost over. This is the first administration where the, the records of the White House photo office, meaning the photos taken in the White House, were entirely digital. We know that the electronic records will continue to grow exponentially with further administrations. As a matter of comparison, it, with the Clinton administration, we had roughly 20 million unclassified emails. For Bush, we have at least 200 million. Civil servants are all recording their actions in computer files today. And so we need to be able to have a place to store those things where they're no longer trapped on the particular media on which they're originally stored or created. Websites, wikis and blogs, Twitter feeds, all of these things are being used by federal agencies now um, to communicate with the public and they're creating federal records. The Electronic Records Archives ERA gives us a way to bring in the records. It gives us a place to store the records safely and preserve them. This is the main search screen for how you would access Bush records in ERA. There's, for every screen that we have, there's a Google type dialog box that's available for the sort of simple keyword search that you would want to run. From the day the records are loaded, they're indexed in our system. They're available for these kinds of searches. But instead of being stored in this building at Archives 2 or at one of our other facilities around the country, the records are now stored on servers at a government data center. In terms of volume, the data held in the RA is equivalent to the holdings of a presidential library. We are receiving requests from the current president for ongoing government business. They come from the former president. They come from courts, and they can come from congressional committees. Our job for now is to preserve these records, to learn as much about them as we can, so that when they're subject to FOIA in January 2014, we can conduct searches that are meaningful and that respond to people's Freedom of Information Act requests. During the last year of development, one of the things we've been most focused on is refining an online public access interface that would really work well for our researchers. As we refine that interface, we're going to start pushing out more and more electronic records from ERA. Between now and the end of 2012, every federal agency is going to start using ERA to send their, their records to the National Archives. This is not an optional task for us. This is absolutely central to the National Archives being able to fulfill its function in society here in the 21st century and going forward. And ERA is doing that for us.